Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain, and today we're going to be doing a review of Browser Chooser. Uh, Chrome was just released in the last week in the Apple Store. If you haven't downloaded it, you can get it for either iPad or iPhone or iPod. It's a free download, and this is what it looks like. I'm going to be doing a separate review on it later. But as for right now, we're going to be looking at the uh, Browser Chooser. And what it does is it puts a few settings under your settings menu. You go down to select browser chooser. And here you select if you want to use Chrome or Safari. If you're going to use Safari, I would just leave it as it is because that's what it's using right now. Okay, but I've got it selected on Chrome. And what it does, if you've got a web link or you're opening up an email link or something of that nature, Instead of it opening inside of Safari, now it will open inside of of uh, Chrome. Uh, I hope that made a little bit of sense to you. And you saw when I tapped the, I had went in and, and made a link to my site. You saw up here at the top, this is Chrome. Um, these are the Chrome settings here. You can sync it with your with your desktop settings. If that way, you don't have to. To make your bookmarks over again you simply just sign in your Google account and and go under your settings menu here to select sync right here you sign in and you select sync with uh, content settings nope it's under here somewhere maybe it's under sign in Chrome right here sync turn it on anyway this is a pretty awesome little tweak guys and for some reason my my email is is out of whack for the time being but anyway um let's see if i can open up something else to prove to you that it's working i don't know where a link let's try this all right that's it's open in the facebook menu anyway guys check it out it's a free download uh, don't forget to come over to iPhoneCaptain.com and keep coming back.